Okay, so now the question is, how do you actually find the inverse of a matrix? And by the way, the only matrices that you can find inverses of, if they exist at all, are square matrices. And in particular, only those square matrices that are non-singular. That means the determinant of those matrices is not 0. It's like, sort of like you can't divide by 0. So how do you find the multiplicative inverse? Let's just start off with the 2-by-2 with two two case, 2-by-2 two two matrices. I'll first show you the little formula for it, and then I'll show you how to think about the formula. So here's the formula. Suppose we have A equals, and let's just say it's a 2 by 2 matrix, a general matrix. So I have A, B, these are the entries, C and D. Then the question is, what's the inverse of this matrix? Well, first of all, let me show you the notation. The notation we use to show the inverse matrix is the following. We write, just like with numbers, we write A with a minus 1 exponent. And that's just red, A inverse. And what's the definition of A inverse? Well. It starts off with a scalar. We take 1 over the determinant of A. So you have to compute the determinant of A. That's just that number AD minus BC. That's a number. You take its reciprocal. OK, and then you scalar multiply that by the following new matrix. It's still going to be a 2 by 2, of course. And what's the recipe? The recipe is you take this diagonal here and you switch them. So I just switch the roles of these things. So I put a D here. And then I put an A here. And then here, actually, I don't do anything but just replace the signs by negatives. So I just switch the signs of these people. And these people, all I do is actually flip these numbers. Okay, So I flipped here and just put negative signs in front of those people there. That should give me the inverse. Let's try it with a particular example. So suppose I take a look at the following. Suppose that A were to be the matrix uh, 1, 3, minus 1, 5. And the question is, what's the inverse? Well, the inverse would be, what do I do? Well, first I have to compute the determinant. So I see uh, 1 times 5, which is 5, minus uh, 3 times negative 1. So that's negative 3. So 5 minus negative 3 is actually just 5 plus 3, which is 8. So I take the reciprocal of that. So I write 1 eighth. And then I multiply that by what matrix? Well, I, I flip these people. So I have a 5 and a 1 here. And then I put negative signs in front of these people. So I have a negative 3. And then I have a negative negative 1, becomes, which becomes a positive 1. And remember what you do. When you have uh, a scalar multiple times a matrix, what you see is just 1 eighth times each and every term. So I see 5 eighths. I see minus 3 eighths. I see 1 eighth. And I see 1 eighth. I just took every single term and multiplied it through by 1 eighth. And that should equal the inverse. Let's check it. How would I check it? The way I check would be just to say, OK, well, this product, in fact, should be the identity. Well, let's see what that product is. So if we take that product, I see uh, five, 1 times 5 eighths, which is 5 eighths, and then I add to it 3 eighths. Well, 5 eighths plus 3 eighths is just 8 eighths, which is 1. So that's a good way to start, because that's the first element of the identity. Now, this should be a 0 here. Let's see if that's true. Here I see a minus 3 eighths, and then I have a plus 3 eighths. That actually combines to give 0. Neat. This should also be a 0. Let's see. Here I see a minus 5 eighths and 5 eighths. That combines to give 0. And this last term should be a 1. Let's see. We have a minus a minus 3 eighths. That's just plus 3 eighths and plus 5 eighths. Well, 3 eighths plus 5 eighths is 1. So look, this actually checks. I get the identity back. So in fact, this really is the inverse of that. So finding inverses of 2 by 2 matrices actually is not that big of a deal. All you do is you divide by the, um, the determinant, and then you just switch the roles of these two people along this diagonal, and then these two people along that diagonal, you put negative signs in, but keep them in place. That's all there is to it. I'll see you soon.